Hi everyone, I'm Dilshan and welcome to the first video tutorial from the Lazy But Smart Singular blog. Episode 1, Greetings and Responses. Here's a quick overview of what we'll cover during this episode. I'd like to start with something very simple and easy, so let's first look at some basic personal pronouns such as I, you, he and she. We'll then use these pronouns to learn the easiest and most typical informal greeting in Singular, which is the equivalent of asking, how are you? In the third section, we'll once again use these pronouns to learn how to respond to an informal greeting by saying the equivalent of I am fine. And in the last section, I'll give you a traditional formal greeting in Singhala. We'll end this episode by looking at a sample dialogue between you and another person. And I'll also ask you some quick questions on the material covered before I let you go. Let's begin. Section 1, Basic Personal Pronouns. Let me first give you the words for I and you. The word for I is Mama. Mama. It sounds like mama, but with a closed A at the end. A closed A, which I indicate with a dot, is the A that you'd use when you say words like away or alive. So the word for I is pronounced mama. By the way, during this episode and all future episodes, to help you keep track of any new words that I introduce to you, I'll be adding them to the sidebar on your right. Now, getting back to the word you. In this episode, we'll be looking at the informal word for you, which is Oya. Oya. Oya is usually used on a friend, a family member, or someone near your age. In an informal context, you could also use Oya on a stranger. Let's now look at the words he and she. The good news is that in spoken Sinhala, we only use one word to refer to both he and she, and that word is Ea. Ea. So remember that er could mean either he or she. Let's now use these pronouns in sentences in the next section. Section 2, Typical Informal Greeting, Learning to Ask, How are you? You already know that the word for you is oya. The word for how is a bit longer, unfortunately. And it is kohomada. Kohomada. Don't worry about memorizing this word since we'll be using it very often and you'll remember it simply through repetition. But just a note about its pronunciation, notice that the DH represents a soft D, which for example is the sound we'd use when we say words like then or there. You don't need to emphasize on the H and say D, just the soft D would do. So the word for how is kohoma D with a soft D. To ask the equivalent of how are you, we simply join these two words to ask oya kohoma D. Oya kohomada. As you may have noticed, this literally reads you how. And that's because we haven't used an equivalent Sinhala word for the word a. In Sinhala, the equivalent expressions for a, am, and is are not used very often. You'll see this for yourself once we go through a few more episodes, so you don't need to worry about it at this point. Moving on, let's say that we want to ask how is he or she? We would say Ea kohomada. And let's say we want to go one step further and replace Ea with the name of a person. I'm going to use the name Ricky as an example. To inquire about Ricky, we would ask, How is Ricky? And in Sinhala, this would be Ricky kohomada. And here's another tip that should make your life much easier. Instead of greeting someone with Oya kohomada, you could also just ask kohomada. It will be understood that you're referring to the person in front of you. So, we already knew an easy way of greeting someone, which was Oya Kohomada, and now we know an even easier way, which is just to say Kohomada. Section 3 Respond to a Greeting Learning to Say I am Fine. You already know that the word for I is Mama. The equivalent to the word fine is actually made up of two words, which are Hunding Innava. Hunding innava. Notice the joint pronunciation of the N and D. Once again, you don't need to memorize these words, we'll use them very often. Getting back to our sentence to say I am fine, we simply like before join the two words and create the sentence Mama Hunding innava. Once again, notice that the word am is implied and that this sentence literally reads 
I fine. Similarly, oya hunding innova would mean you are fine. Eya hunding innova would mean he or she is fine. And riki hunding innova would mean riki is fine. Here's another helpful tip. Instead of replying with mama hunding innova, you could also drop the mama and just say hunding innova. In this case, it is understood that you're referring to yourself. In English, this is like answering fine when someone asks you, how are you? So, we already knew an easy way of saying I am fine, which was mama hunding innava. And now we have an even easier way, which is just to say hunding innava. Let's use these new words and phrases in a typical conversation between you and someone familiar to you. Kohomada or Oya Kohomada Hunding innava or Mama Hunding innava Tim Kohomada Tim Hunding innava or Ea Hunding innava Anya Kohomada Anya Hunding innava or Ea Hunding innava because as you know Ea can mean both he and she. Section 4 Formal Greeting The traditional formal greeting in Sinhala is Are you bo one? Are you bo one? As a side note, you might be interested to know that in old Sinhala, this literally means May your lifespan be long. So when someone greets you with Are you bo one? The reply is also Are you bo one? But I must tell you that this is not used that often in day to day conversation. However, you're likely to be greeted with Are you bo one? by people in touristy places such as hotel staff or the Sri Lankan Airlines crew members. So therefore it's good to at least know how to respond. Just respond with Are you bo one? Let's look at a very basic dialogue between you and someone unfamiliar who typically might be older than you. Are you bo one? Are you bo one? You could also then follow it up with two expressions that you already know which are Kohomada and to which the response would be and that's all the new stuff for today. But before we end this episode, let's try to answer some quick questions on the material we covered. If you don't know the answer, don't stress. Feel free to look at the sidebar, although I doubt you will need to. Alright, so tell me, what do the following words mean? Ea. He or she. Mama. I. Oya. Informal you. How would you greet a friend, family member, or someone of your age? I'll give you a clue. There are two ways. There's the easy way, and there's the even easier way. Let's start with the easy way. Oya kohomada. And now tell me the even easier way. Kohomada. How would you respond when someone asks you Kohomada? Once again, there's the easy way and the even easier way. Start with the easy way. Mama honding innava. And now the even easier way. Honding innava. What does this mean? Ea kohomada. How is he or she? And for your last question, what does this mean? Ea hunding innava. He or she is fine. Let's recap what you have learned at the end of this episode. You now know that I in Singhala is mama, informal you is oya, and the one word used to mean he or she is ea. You also know an easy way to ask how are you in Singhala, which is kohomada. And you then saw another way of asking how are you using a pronoun this time, which was oya kohomada. Similarly, how is he or she was ea kohomada, and how is riki was riki kohomada. 
In section 3, we learned how to respond to Koho Mother by giving the equivalent of I am fine, which was Hunding in Nava. We also learned to say it as Mama Hunding in Nava, and additionally learned that you are fine is Oya Hunding in Nava, he or she is fine is Eya Hunding in Nava, and Riki is fine is Riki Hunding in Nava. And we ended the episode by learning the traditional formal greeting in singular, which was Are you Bowan? To which the correct response is also Are you Bowan? And that's it for this episode. In the next episode, you'll learn how to introduce yourself to others. We'll look at possessives such as my, your, his and her. Using this, we'll learn how to say my name is, as well as ask someone, what's your name? And since you now know that I am fine is holding in Nava, I'll also teach you how to say thank you so that you'll be able to use it to say I am fine, thank you. If you'd like a free video transcript as well as a downloadable PDF of this episode, go to the Lazy But Smart Singular blog by clicking here. Once you're there, you'll also have access to even more tutorials and resources to help you learn to speak good enough Singhala with the minimum needed effort. I'm Dilshan and I'll see you on the next episode.